Very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on SABC3. The time just after 8 o'clock. Mm. And on a Tuesday, we discuss medical things. We talk medical things. Dr. Darren Green <laughs> is in the house. And right now, we're talking about the, the uppers or the stimulants yeah. in life. I mean, this is the, the time when people are about to get that first cup of coffee, right? The buzz. They yeah. need it. So before you do that, hold on. Listen to our discussion first. It might just change your mind about what you want to drink this morning. So stimulants, right? First of all, what exactly is a stimulant, Dr. Green? Yeah, so a stimulant is basically a substance or a chemical substance that activates a receptor in the body and then has secondary effects on upping different things. So mm -hmm. upping hormone levels, upping mood, upping your endorphin levels. So a stimulant is basically something that sends you in a positive direction in mm. terms of creating more or, or stimulating a gland to release more substance, yeah. for example. And thus the effects or clinical manifestations will follow based on what exactly you are stimulating. Yeah. Now we want you to also engage with us, of course, as we continue our medical discussion. Give us a call on 083-913-3728. And the question we have for you is, do you have any questions about energy stimulants? Let's talk first about the coffee cup. It's yes. one that most people engage in every single morning. What is actually happening in your body when you take a cup of coffee and you drink it? It's the most drunk psychoactive, psychoactive substance. Sounds evil. In other words, it's a substance that affects the brain. Psychoactive, it goes to the brain. Mm -hmm. So you ingest it, it goes to your tummy, it's absorbed through the tummy lining into the bloodstream, crosses the blood-brain barrier, and that's where it has an effect on certain receptors in the brain. And what they've shown now with, with research and technology and imaging is that the adenosine receptor, which is one in the brain, is actually blocked by caffeine. In other words, caffeine tells, uh, prevents the reaction happening where adenosine normally tells your body it's tired and hasn't had enough rest. Oh. Caffeine goes to that site, blocks that message going through so that you can't tell your body, I'm tired and I need rest. So it's not like... Caffeine is, is a pick-me-up in that it gives you energy. It just stops your body realizing that it's tired. That's, here you go. Oh my word! <laughs> that's, that's a completely <laughs> different way of thinking about it right about now. Uh, so, okay, wait, let's just... That's the are mechanism. There, are there any benefits then to caffeine? Yes, there are many uh, other health benefits of caffeine. Obviously, it, it helps you to, to, to focus in a certain uh, dosage. If you take it in a high dosage, it actually impairs concentration. So people trying to stay awake for studying, that drink cups and cups and cups, initially it'll be good, it helps you stay awake or stretch your limits a little bit, but then after a certain point, bang, you'll find you're awake, but you can't concentrate. Oh, wow. So people must realize that, because there are other components to concentration that are affected. The other health benefits, obviously it, it, it involves blood flow, the cardiovascular system, it stimulates your heart rate, uh, it stimulates, for example, the, the, the blood flow in certain areas, and one of the recent studies also show that it's neuroprotective in terms of preventing Parkinson's and, and uh, neurodegenerative conditions like wow. Alzheimer's. Yes. Uh, that's in moderate. In other words, three, three to five cups in, in mid-age mm -hmm. is what the, story, the study at John Hopkins University actually showed. All right. Well, when we come back, I want to answer the question of how much coffee or caffeine is too much. But I want to repeat that fact once again. Coffee doesn't necessarily energize you. It just stops your brain from realizing how tired you are. That just blew my mind. <laughs> just blew my mind. Okay, well, right now let's go on over to the kitchen. I understand you and Leanne have got some news about tea etiquette. How do you drink yours?